It's your girl Sin and I'm back with another video. And if you want to know what I'm doing today, stay tuned. T-shirt check. Welcome back print squad and t-shirt preneurs. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Sin and I make videos teaching you how to make t-shirts. And today I'm going to be doing something that I have never done. I've never actually been interested in it, but because of my youngest son, he asked me if I could do a tie dye t-shirt. So we're going to be doing some tie dye t-shirts today. Okay. So yesterday, I went to Dollar Tree and I like purchased a few, few items. I went to Walmart, I purchased a kit. So right here, this is the kit that I purchased right here. I actually had purchased one like a while back, but I ended up giving it to my sister and she left it at my mom. So I actually have two kits right here and I got some other supplies that I got from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up my table and let you guys see if we can make this work out. All right, so I just used some of this paper. It's just like some, um, some basically butcher paper and craft paper so that I can absorb anything that goes through when I'm printing. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and set my table up and put everything on here so that I can get started. Okay, so I got an extra black because I thought I might need it. And also right here, I got some rubber bands, got some t-shirts and what else did I get? Yeah, I got t-shirts and I have some tongs. They said it would be good to use tongs to flip it over. So I just grabbed some tongs. So I'm just gonna um, bring all of my tie dye stuff over here. And I also have spray bottles. Let me grab those. I have three different spray bottles. I'm gonna see which one works best for what I'm trying to do because they said you're supposed to wash the shirts, but your girl didn't wash the shirts because I think they're gonna be okay. And you're also supposed to leave the shirts wet while you print on them, but you don't want them super saturated. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get everything together and get started. All right, so I got everything set up. I have my spray bottles. I have this water right here because in order to use this dye, you have to add water to it. Okay, so some of them have already been filled. So we're going to be, let me find the green and yellow. So we're going to be using green and yellow because, and we're also going to be using black because my son, the school that he goes to, that's the colors. So my, the first shirt that I do, I am going to do that. And I'm going to get some better gloves because the gloves that came in here are not the best gloves. They are like some, you know, if y'all used to put curls or perms or something on back in the day, they the ones that come with that. So I'm not going to be using that. I'm going to be using some better gloves. Okay. So we're going to be using a couple of greens. So I'm going to go ahead, open up these bottles. And Go ahead and pour the water in here and hopefully not make a mess. Okay, that's the first one. You just put it in there. You wanna shake it up real good. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do the rest of these off camera and check back in with y'all. 
All right, I have all of the bottles filled right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna use this side over here to prepare the shirts. And then when I get ready to actually dye the shirts, I'm gonna use that side over there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, put my gloves on. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up this pack of shirts. And I'm gonna grab the first shirt out. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay this shirt out. I'm just gonna mist it with my spray bottle to try to get it pretty wet. So I think the shirt is going to be wet enough and I'm just going to wet it in a couple of spots right there. The first design, I am going to attempt to create a swirl. So let me make sure the shirt is flat. I don't even know if that really matters, if it's flat or not. And I'm going to move these other spray balls because that big one is going to be fine for what I need. Okay, so what is that? Okay, so. We want the swirl to start about here in the center. And I don't even believe that's, wait, let me see. I'm gonna start it more, more here, I guess. All right. Hopefully this is, hopefully that's decent enough right there. So I'm gonna go ahead, open up these rubber bands and place some on here to hold it together. <laughs> yeah, we gonna see, cause your girl has never done this. I'm a first timer. Okay, and put one more going across this way, this way, and we're gonna see how that works. Okay, all right, so that should be pretty good right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start out right here. Let me move this over here and bring the shirt over here, move the gloves out the way. All right, so, so here we go, y'all, here we go. So we're gonna start off with the yellow.
get a little bit more green over here I don't know I feel like I'm overdoing a little bit I think my shirt may not have been wet enough all right so this is the first shirt right here so I would love to just do this one and see how it comes out first but I'm gonna wet the other shirts more I'm gonna go ahead and super saturate the next shirt and it should come out a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a plastic bag to put this in so we can um, move on to the next shirt. I didn't have any big sandwich bags, so I'm gonna go ahead and use these trash bags that I have right here and put this one inside here. and just tie it up because it has to sit for a few hours y'all and I'm it needs to be in the heat so I'm probably gonna go sit them in my car okay I'm gonna grab the next shirt and I'm just gonna take it to the sink and and wash it real good and wring it out real good and get started with the next design so for the next one I'm trying I'm gonna be trying to get the stripes Okay, so I did wet this shirt up pretty good and I wrung it out. So to do this, let me see, see if I can do it. I'm gonna start away from me because I think it'll be easier. You're basically folding it like an accordion. So you're, I'm gonna start with the sleeve up here and see if I can do it. So that's what we got right there. So now we're just gonna get rubber bands and we're gonna put them on here tight. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go with it like this, y'all. We're gonna say that's good enough. Okay, so since this one is a little bit long, we are going to use two, two of these little racks right here. Okay, so this one is gonna be blue and gold or blue and yellow. put that down a little bit more okay so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna try to do blue and yellow we're gonna start with the blue up top and hopefully this is blue and not purple because it's gotta look at purple
All right, so I think we're done with that one. Let me just, dang, it's a couple of spots I missed. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get a bag for that one. And we are going to grab it and place it inside this bag. So that's that one. Okay, so this one, I am actually going to do a scrunch. A scrunch, you just take the shirt in the middle and you just ball it up all the way around, ball it up. Ball it up into a ball as best you can, like a like you throwing it in the trash can or something, you know? Like you just got angry and you're gonna throw it in the trash can. And so, grab a couple of rubber bands and put around it. I don't know. I don't even know y'all. I'm just trying to do what I can do. Let me see. Put a couple of these smaller rubber bands around it, I guess. I don't know. I think I need a better technique or something. Because I don't know what it's looking like it's kind of looking like a hot mess to me, but we're going to keep going with it. This is the first time. Um, that's how I do most of my learning is by hands on and experience getting experience from, you know, hands on. We're going to do one more rubber band going across this way and try to get some of that in there, I guess. All right. So, I guess this is my rainbow scrunch right here. I guess this is it. Okay. All right, so this is gonna be our rainbow scrunch. I feel like I need to put one more over on this side right here. All right, so that's it right there. We good, we good to go. So we are gonna put it right over here. And we are just gonna do a bunch of different colors with the rainbow scrunch, I don't even know. Think that's gonna be good for that side. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this bad boy over. I'm just gonna check it out and make sure that we did not leave too much white anywhere. Okay, we're gonna hit it back with some green on this other side because we did leave a little bit white. Go ahead 
Gonna flip the thing up. Oh, we can put a little bit right there. And we're gonna flip this thing over. Finish it on up with that green. All right, so that's it. Let's grab a bag and throw that bad boy up in there. Toss it up, toss it up in there and tie it up. All right, y'all, that's it for the tie dyeing activities. So I'm gonna go ahead and because it's a hot day here, I'm gonna take that and I'm put it in the car and the time is now 11.35. So it says six to eight hours. So I'm gonna leave it there for eight hours or seven, at least seven hours. And then I'm gonna come back and let y'all check out what the results are. Several hours have passed and now it's time for me to let you guys check out the shirts so that y'all can let me know what y'all think about them. So I'm gonna go ahead, go get the shirts and come right back here so that y'all can see them. So I have the shirts right here. So the first one right here, I don't remember what it is. Um, I'll have to go back in the video and list it on top what it is. All right, so this is what the first one is looking like right here. So this one is actually the swirl. This is the swirl right here, or the kind of swirl. So that was my first one. That's what the front of it is looking like right there. Y'all let me know what y'all think. As Once again, this is my first one. I think it came out pretty good. And right there, that is the back. As y'all can see right there, I think it came out all right. Okay, so I'm gonna, uh, I have, I do have to rinse this out, and I'm gonna do that in the sink. But I just want y'all to kind of see what it looks like first. Okay, this next one. Let me see. Yeah, the this next one right here is the stripes, or it's supposed to be the stripes. We're gonna see what it's looking like. Okay, it's looking more green. I thought it was gonna be yellow and blue, like the Warriors color. That was my goal with this one. Some of this might work better just cutting these rubber bands because I'm popping myself with them right now. So this is supposed to be the stripes. We about to check it out and see. Okay, it's losing all kind of juice right there, y'all. It's losing all kind of juice. Let me let me clean that up right quick before I lay that shirt on it because I do not want to uh, get any of the dye in places that is not supposed to be for that shirt. So, all right. So, that one is the stripes right there. Man, it, I think this one came out awesome. What y'all think? Y'all let me know what y'all think. But that, that's the the front of it and that is the back of it right there and I, I really think it came out awesome it's nice it's nice and that green kind of looks yellow and green so that's nice that's gonna work right there so I'm gonna move this one out of the way and this next one is the scrunch it, it's the one that was scrunched up so let me go ahead, remove all of these rubber bands. Actually, I can just pull these off. I don't have to pop all these and hurt my fingers. All right, so this one was just like a rainbow scrunch. And we are going to see what it looks like. And there we are right there. Rainbow scrunch, pretty much green on the side right there. That's the back side of it. And that's the front side of it. So I think they came out awesome, y'all. And maybe I'll do some more of these, but this is what I have right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them over to the sink so that I can rinse them out. 
and then I gotta let them dry. And this is gonna take a minute, y'all. You have to wash it out until it is clear. Until everything is clear. Y'all, this might take a minute. So I'm gonna finish them all and then I'm gonna come back and check in with y'all. All right, so here are all the shirts just laid out so that you guys can check them out. They are still wet. I have to let them dry. So, but when they do dry, I can come back and show you what they looks like, what they look like dry, not what their looks like, but what they look like once they're dry. Um, if not, then maybe I can post it on Instagram or somewhere so that you guys can check it out. Um, I appreciate you watching the video. If you like videos like this and you wanna see more of me doing different types of shirts, tie dye or any other different things to t-shirts, um, just let me know down in the description box below. And if you hit the thumbs up button, I know that y'all like this type of video so that I can continue doing this type of videos. If you wanna show your support, you guys know what to do, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in another video, maybe. But until then, be blessed.